When you were a fetus, do you know what you did every day in your mom's belly? Did you think you only ate, drank, and slept every day? Actually, that's not true. At that time, you had to do at least eight things every day in your mom's tummy. First of all, swallowing amniotic fluid. The fetus swallows amniotic fluid in the womb, mainly because amniotic fluid can serve as a cushion and reduce external stimuli. In addition, swallowing amniotic fluid can train the fetus's swallowing ability in advance. In preparation for breastfeeding after birth. Second, swimming. From the second month of pregnancy, we are all immersed in amniotic fluid. It's a big warm pool for us. That's why we learn to swim in the amniotic fluid when we're still fetuses. That's why newborn babies keep swimming. Third, play with the umbilical cord. In the womb, the umbilical cord becomes the fetus's only toy. When the baby's fingers are mature, the umbilical cord is the only toy for the fetus. Some fetuses even wrap the umbilical cord around themselves. If playing with the umbilical cord causes discomfort, they will let go of the umbilical cord forth, holding the fingers. When the fetus is tired of playing with the umbilical cord, they will instinctively put their fingers in their mouths. This is also the reason why many babies like to eat their fingers after birth. In fact, it's an instinct developed in the mother's womb. Fifth, listen to the outside world. When the fetus reaches 24 weeks, the sense of hearing has matured. It can hear all kinds of external sounds. Sometimes it can also eavesdrop on mom and dad through the belly. So don't say anything bad about your baby or he'll kick you in the stomach. Sixth, exercise. After the 28th week of pregnancy, the baby starts to stretch itself with both hands and feet. If you look closely at the mother's belly at this time, you can still see the baby's movements. Seventh, hiccups or yawns. The fetus lives in the amniotic fluid. Sometimes he chokes on the amniotic fluid and hiccups, and sometimes the amniotic fluid is partially ingested by yawning, but it doesn't matter. The mother's amniotic fluid is nourishment for the baby. At this time, the baby's respiratory and digestive systems are basically formed. Hiccups and yawns are inevitable. And finally, sleep. During the first three months in the mother's womb, the baby sleeps almost all day long and in the darkness of the womb. It's probably the best sleep a baby has ever had in their life. Whenever they're tired of playing, they'll fall asleep peacefully. And the sound of their mother's heartbeat is the most beautiful lullaby they'll ever hear.